while life is experiencing challenges for some very important wildlife species are gradually getting extinct and are disappearing due to several causes. Poaching is one major cause. Today we have poachers who fuel the wildlife trafficking trade and these poachers are armed with machine guns. They have vehicles, they have helicopters and they are not afraid to provoke gun battles with our game guards and forest rangers. Wildlife trafficking is a problem that spreads across countries. It's not just one country. You're seeing huge declines in African elephants for the purposes of um, trafficking in, in ivory. A lot of the things that we use to survive on this planet are actually different elements of biodiversity. And so if we lose any part of the biodiversity, we just might be losing what would determine the future of humanity on this planet in terms of mankind's survival. That's why we all need to join efforts to control or eliminate wildlife crime for our own survival and our future. Wabic means the West Africa Biodiversity and Climate Change Program. And it's a five-year regional program for all of West Africa funded by USAID. The goal of WABIC is to improve conservation, climate resilient, low emissions growth across West Africa. And in order to do that, the program focuses on three main technical areas. Combating wildlife trafficking, increasing coastal resilience to climate change, and reducing deforestation, forest degradation, and biodiversity loss. We work with three core regional partners, as well as national and local groups, to achieve these outcomes. Our core regional partners are ECOWAS, the Economic Community of West African States, the Mono River Union, and the Abidjan Convention. The West African region itself is not directly somehow involved in the trade, but it's gradually becoming a hub or transiting point for wildlife trafficking. So we need to build the capacity of the member states and the various institutions to be able to handle this in a networking approach. So a major focus of component one in Wabic is training people, providing this capacity to the foresters, the wildlife specialists, but also magistrates and prosecutors, investigators, customs agents, police, and all the other groups of experts who have to work in the fight against wildlife trafficking. At this point in time, Wabic has done two trainings. The first training was with the current crop of 12 um, students in a master's degree program at the University of Andalusia in Spain. They are learning about CITES. What is CITES? CITES is the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora. Basically what it does is bring in a number of countries that are called parties to sign this convention and commit themselves to certain rules and certain regulations in terms of trade in wildlife products. But it is not clear that these authorities are functioning correctly within each country. It is not evident that they understand the role that they are supposed to play within their countries. So the training that Wabic and its partners are providing these students is meant to help these CITES authorities in our West African countries understand better how to play their role and take responsibility for implementing CITES in West Africa. And we expect that they are the future of the Combating Wildlife Trafficking Initiative. My name is James Opong. Moi, c'est Diabou Philomen. Je, je viens du Cameroon. My name is Felix Olushola Bayomi. I'm from Nigeria. Je m'appelle Sen Sewa Blaziz. My name is Bintu Siafore Musa, CITES student. This initiative is a welcome initiative because, you know, when you bring people from different fora face to face with one another, you are building bridge. It is very important for me to be able to understand what are the issues with wildlife in terms of international trade or in terms of protection at a global level. So it is very important for me to be part of this training and I feel I'm opportune to be part of it. Based on this, I can be able to propose strategies or recommend ways in which we can better implement CITES, of which we are lacking in terms of compliance issues. The interaction with other African students was marvelous because it gives you 
that encouragement and hope that uh, I'm not alone. We are talking trainings first in terms of raising awareness, but we can use the media to be able to pass on information on CITES regulations or CITES implementation. I'm going to particularly work on um, wildlife education projects, educating people, trying to build consensus and network within the country on the importance of taking care of our endangered species. Very often, Africa in general, we have limitation in terms of implementation of these conventions. For example, I said we need a network of officers who can even work together because the crime is not particular to one country, it is cross-border. So if we have this group of people from the sub-region, then we can contribute to the improvement in the implementation. And you know, we really are looking now at opportunities. How do we use this basic you know, knowledge that we've already started to create and, and, and build their institutional capacity, regional capacity, stop preparing people for a future CITES training, or perhaps you know, start catalyzing some CITES courses in the universities in the region who have expressed interest. So I think by the end of WABIC, and we're beginning to see more wildlife crime being stopped, being uncovered, being prosecuted. I think that would be you know, a real indicator that, that this is beginning to bear fruit and it's being um, internalized and streamlined within governments.